Well, welcome everybody to the next chapter of Safari TV Diary. And we were very excited to find that Mishu and Induna were still in the same area as we left them last night and still in very much a playful mood in their final stages of adolescence. They were just in the same spot as where the kill was. It doesn't look like there was much remaining there, just on Weaver's Nest Road. Some beautiful moments and just in the middle of play, they decide to have a very tender moment together. It's so incredible to see leopard of this size, especially two males behaving like this. But no sooner is that finished, it was back to play again. A very boisterous play it was as well. We're not sure how long the, the play is really going to last. Maybe a couple of months more, but this could be one of the last times we actually get to see the two, the two boys actually playing together like they are now. It's such a treat to see. Play was put on hold when there's five hyena that came in to see if there was anything left of the kill. Mishu choosing exactly the same tree as the night before. Induna taking another tree a little bit further up on the banking. Quite possibly the youngsters from the clan, a floppy ear. But the two boys definitely weren't taking any chances. And they just had to wait very patiently. But the boys decided that that was the best option, just to stay in the tree until Hyena had decided to disappear. And Mishu just keeping a check on what's going on below him. After what must have seemed like an eternity, the hyenas had left, so Mishu decided that he was going to make his escape. But Induna, still not convinced, decides he's going to stay a little bit longer. Obviously, just remembering what Floppy Ear did to his tail. Join us again tomorrow for the next exciting episode of Safari TV Diary.